Hey guys, so today is going to be my birthday in New York City Collective Hall. I've got a bunch of things over the past month between my birthday, going to New York, and I ordered a lot of things online so I had to wait for a lot of it to come in. So it's going to be collective, plus I've tried most of the products because I couldn't keep my hands off them. So it's also going to be kind of a first impression on a lot of the products. A lot of products I'm going to show you are more high end. I haven't shopped high end makeup in a while and I don't shop it too too often. The most high end I go is usually Sephora, but I mean by my high end it's probably like NARS or Makeup Forever. I don't really buy a lot of the brands that I bought now, but I wanted to treat myself for my birthday and a lot of you guys have been asking about some of these products and I've been wanting to try some of these products, so I hope you enjoy it. But I have a whole mix of things. I went to Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, um, I have some Drugstore, Lush, MAC, and a lot of the products I'm going to show you I purchased through Lovocracy.com, which I'll tell you all about it at the end of the video because there's going Going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. I wanted to share the love and let one of you have a chance to shop some of the products that I bought. So stay to the end of the video if you want to be entered for the giveaway and learn how to win some of these products. And let's go ahead and jump into it. First, I'm going to start with things I got in New York City. I went two weeks ago and I had to go to Lush because I don't have a Lush where I live and there are some products I got in LA that I can't live without that I ran out of. So that is the Ocean Salt Body Exfoliator. I talked about this in my August favorites. This is my favorite body exfoliator. It gets off all the dead skin. I got the small size because a lot of Lush products do expire and I use the other one past the expiration date. So I got a mini one and then I got one more thing that I've been wanting to try that a lot of people rave about and it's the Lovely Jubblies Breast Cream. It says a product to make that most enticing area even more enticing. First of all, it smells amazing. It smells like roses. It's very florally. I really, really like it. It's kind of like a grandma scent, but I, I don't know. I really, really like it. So I've been wanting to try this for that area right here. And I also want to try it on my neck because it's a firming cream. I picked up one thing for MAC I've been eyeing for a long time, and I've already worn it. I mentioned it in the favorites. It's MAC's Dark Side Lipstick. It's a really dark black cherry color and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it so it's an amplified finish which means it's really opaque it's really creamy then also for Mac but this is the one where I live I picked up something from the Rihanna collection that just came out her fall all I picked up was the blush this is in bad girl gone good I always want to say good girl gone bad but it's really beautiful as far as the packaging goes it was all rose gold and that's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today is this blush and a little bit of bronzer and I've been wearing it every single day since I've gotten it then I ordered some things off Hot Look if you're not signed up and you love makeup or discount designer things you need to go down to the description bar click the link and sign up it's a flash sales site I feel like I always describe it but a lot of people don't know what it is and they have different sales every single day they have clothes, they have makeup, they have even home goods, and I love it. Picked up two powders from Kevin Aquan. I have been dying to try some of Kevin Aquan's products. It's very expensive. I believe these powders retail for maybe $40 or $50. It could be more, and I think these were $20. So I picked up two of the face powders because I've heard lots of people rave about them. The first color I got is EP13, and I don't know the name but it's a dark reddish brown. I use that as a bronzer today with that Rihanna blush and the formula is beautiful. I don't talk about powders that often, um, but this formula is so pretty. And then I got the color EP07. I believe this is called beige. And this is what I use to set my foundation. And I am so obsessed. I've used it probably about four times. And it looks so natural on the skin. And I'm just loving it. I also got two drugstore products. And I found these last night. So I had to include them. They're from Maybelline's Fall Collection. I haven't found really any drugstore fall collections where I live. I've been looking for the L'Oreal like Lilac, some La Mattes. Can't find them. I haven't found like really anything so I don't know what's going on here but I found these two last night I got the lipstick in lavender voltage and I wore it yesterday and it is so pretty I wore it as soon as I got it it's a purple I mean looks pretty much like the tube it's a little bit darker I wouldn't say it's a dupe for max heroin I think some people have said that or at least on me it's not but it's really really gorgeous and then I also got the lip gloss in purple royale it is so gorgeous. It's like almost black, blue, purple. Then I picked up some things from Sephora. 
First is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is in the color 153. Now I have a review on this and in it I said I didn't know if I would repurchase it. I probably wouldn't. The reason why I picked up another one first is because I've been tanning so much, which I'm about to tan because this doesn't match me right now. Um, I needed a color darker to match when I'm tan. Also, I do so much filming and flash photography, I needed a foundation with no SPF that was great on camera, and this looks so beautiful. So I went a little foundation crazy, I picked up two more foundations. Next is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is in the color Cashew Beige. I was Bamboo Beige before. This, I still think, is a little bit light for me when I tan. I wore it in my Fall Vixen makeup tutorial, so you can see what it looks like if you want to know there. Let me know if you want a review on this. I have not done a review on this foundation, but I highly recommend it. Then I picked up one of my favorite foundations, which I'll be happy to do a review on this as well. I used to have one way back when on my channel. I filmed it with my MacBook when I first started YouTube, and the quality so bad it's not up anymore, but it's the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I adore this. I got a darker color for when I tan. This is in the shade Barcelona, which is the medium 4, and I love it. So I picked up one of these. Then I also got one of the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation. This is in the shade Golden Tan, which is again for when I'm darker, and I really, really like this. I like it to set foundation. This is great on its own because it's very full coverage. It's like a liquid to powder finish. Then I got a birthday gift from one of my good friends, Naomi or Naomes, on Instagram and YouTube. I'll link her down below. Make sure to check out her channel and tell her that I sent you. But she sent me this little gift and I was shocked, really surprised and excited. And it's the new Marc Jacobs Foundation, the Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. I'm not sure if this color is right for me yet. She just kind of guessed because I tried a sample of this a long time ago and I really, really liked it. Um, I think this one might be too dark, but I'm really excited to try it. I will show you what the bottle looks like. Fancy, huh? Um, yeah, it just comes with a pump, which I love pumps. Foundations with a pump, you automatically become my best friend if I like you because I hate not having a pump because it's such a mess. But let me know again. Do you guys want to review on any of these? I know this is a lot of products, but let me know if you want reviews on anything that I've mentioned. So the rest of the products I'm going to show you are from Lovocracy.com. What it is, is kind of like a Pinterest for makeup, but you can buy all the products on their site. So you pin things from Sephora, from Ulta, from Drugstore, anywhere to your boards. Like, I will link mine down below so you can check out all my boards. And then you can buy the products from their site. What I love about it is that you don't have to go to a ton of different websites to order your products because I don't order makeup from just one website. I shop at Sephora, I shop at Ulta, like you can tell, from Mac, from Drugstore. Like, I order from a ton of different places. So it's so convenient because they're all in one place because you can order everything from their website. They also just launched a mobile app, so if you're not someone that likes to be on your computer or you love like using Pinterest on your phone, you can download the Lovocracy app. It's really easy to use and really fun. So let me show you the products. Before I show you what I got from them though, look at all of these samples. So since everything ships like individually, you check out each item, I got three samples for every item because like Nordstrom and Sephora gives you, you know, the samples for ordering things. So I got a ton of samples like I love samples, so I thought that was really awesome. So, first thing I got is from NARS. This is the Highlighting Powder and Albatross. It's a very light, golden, iridescent highlighting powder. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. People rave about it, so I was like, I'm going to go ahead and try it out because I love NARS. Then I picked up a bronzer from Bobbi Brown. I don't have a lot of Bobbi Brown products, but the ones I do, I love, and I've been looking for a new bronzer. So, this is in the shade Medium Number 2. And it has a little bit of a red, dark brown undertone. I've worn it twice, and I think the formula is gorgeous. It looks like skin. So I can't wait to try this out when I'm tan, because that's why I ordered this shade. Then I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffused Light. I've been eyeing this for a few months, and I finally decided to go ahead and get it. A lot of people rave about them. I can't remember the other shades people have raved about, but I haven't heard anyone talk about this shade. So I decided to pick it up, and I love it. I tried it on in Sephora before I ordered it online, and I put it under my eyes. This is what I have under my eyes right now, and it is so beautiful. Like, the powder is so finely milled, but it's still opaque, and it just looks like your skin. Then I got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. Where has this been all my life? I have no idea. I've tried a sample before, and I loved it. Then the last two products I picked up are from Chanel. Now, I don't buy Chanel a whole lot. I always eye it on the way to MAC, because where I live, the Chanel counter is on the way to MAC, so I'm always like, 
eyeing it as I walk by, but it's so expensive so I really have to think hard before I order things from them. But my friend Naomi, who I mentioned earlier, who got me the Marc Jacobs Foundation, love you if you're watching this, she has the most beautiful high-end makeup collection, so I asked her for advice on what I should get from Chanel because she loves Chanel and I picked up two items based on her recommendations. First is this cream blush, which is Gorgeous. I haven't worn it yet, but I've swatched them. I researched it a lot before I got it. This is in the color 62 Presage, and it's this beautiful in the pan. It looks just orange. It is gorgeous. On my skin, it doesn't look this color. On me, it turns to like a corally peach color. How could I not end this haul with a lipstick? This is my first Chanel lipstick, which makes me really excited because I've always wanted to try one. And the packaging is amazing. Like, it is so beautiful. It has, it's just black, and then it has a little gold Chanel, and you push it, and it comes out. It's so fancy. So this is in the color 99 Pirate, and it is a dark wine red. Darker than Ruby Woo or Russian Red for MAC, if you're familiar with those colors. So let me know your favorite Chanel lipsticks or products down below, because I really want to get into, like, collecting them slowly I'll save up money and get them but I'm really excited that I got to get a few products so that's all for my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I know you guys love hauls and trust me I love shopping for hauls but I haven't done one in a while because I've been trying to use makeup that I have and I've just been so busy so let's go ahead and get into the giveaway I'm going to link all of the rules down below it's super easy and I'm really excited I love being able to do giveaways for you guys all you have to do for this are three easy things. First, thumbs up this video. There's a little like button down there. Make sure you hit that. Second, subscribe to my channel. This is a thank you because I love you guys so much. Even if you're new to my channel, all you have to do is hit subscribe. And then third, you have to sign up for an account with Lebocracy.com and then you'll automatically be entered to win. But you have to sign up for an account through my link. So everyone who signs up for Lovocracy through my link that I have down below will automatically be entered to win. And that's all you have to do. I will announce the winners one week from today. And I will announce them on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my Twitter. And then I'll also try to link it in the description bar of this video. So make sure you're following me on my other social media platforms so you'll know if you won and we'll stay connected. So I'm really excited for you guys. Like I said, if you don't want to sign up on the computer, Lovocracy also launched a new app that's super fun and easy to use so you can sign up through then. Just make sure you click the link through this video on your phone. So thank you guys for watching and for all the continued support. On a random note, if my lighting's been off, I know I've been getting a lot of like comments about my makeup and stuff. I'm really sorry, but I'm still trying to figure out this ring light because mine doesn't have a setting. I have to change my camera settings. So I'm still struggling with my lighting. I moved about two months ago, so that's why I changed my setup a little bit as well. So I'm really sorry. Don't leave anything mean about my makeup because I promise I don't look crazy in person. So if I look shiny or anything, just bear with me and just listen to the things I have to say. Again, I'm sorry. But I'm working on it. Lighting's hard. If you film, you know. So, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to quit rambling. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.